Gender equality isn't just an important ethical issue, it's also good business. As the Bloomberg Equality Summit is underway here in London, Anne-Marie Hordern digs into the numbers. Hi, Anne-Marie. Good morning, Francine. It's not just an ethical issue. It means it's good for business. And I've been looking at the Bloomberg Gender Equality Index. It's a number of companies around the world that make up this index. In Europe, it's, no, it's companies like Unilever, Adidas, as well as Santerra, which I know the chair, Anna Botin, will be at the Bloomberg Equality Summit today. Check out this chart. It says it all. The numbers do not lie. The Bloomberg Gender Equality Index is outperforming the MSCI All Country World Index, and it's up some 13% year to to date. Now, as we talk about gender equality, one topic that's been front and center over the past two years has been the gender pay gap. And this is the second year in the row that the UK requires companies to disclose. And as you can see here, it is a sea of red. Only a handful of companies, Reckitt Bank Kaiser, a unit of Tesco, and G4L's health services, are paying women more than men. To the most side, men are still being paid a lot more than women, especially when it comes to some of these on this end, HSBC, TUI Airways, and Anglo-American. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that at the senior level, there are more men than women. At the senior level, you get higher salaries. And when you talk about the senior level, the FTSE 100 companies, the very top, the CEOs, that number this year dropped to just five. And I spoke to one of them, Allison Cooper of Imperial Brands, just last week, and I asked her about the shrinking number for female executives across the FTSE 100. Take a listen fix to this. It's going to take time to, to, to bring people through businesses, um, to, to develop them through businesses. And I think we are seeing improvements as we work through the management layers. I know of corporates, there's a lot of focus, a lot of effort. You know, we've got a, a significant focus on diversity and inclusion in Imperial to really try and, and to try and improve. Um, and, and particularly the, the lower levels of the organization, I'm not talking, you know, we've got, some, we've got some, some better performances, but we do need to, to move that up through the business.